We have two 20 cent coins. Each one has a red mark on it. Now, I've made those red marks, Rob, so that I can line them up together. Right. Right. Top we to bottom. Top to bottom, right? Top coin has a mark on the bottom, bottom coin mark on the top. Queen's head is upright in both cases. Okay. Now, if we hold the bottom coin steady and rotate the top coin around it, eventually we'll go all the way around and the red marks will line up again. Mm -hmm. Question for you and for you too. How many times will that top coin rotate? before we come back to the original position. Well, it's easy. That same size, it'll be once. All right, let's try it. I'll hold the bottom coin steady. You rotate the top coin. All right, here we go. Actually, 20 cents are good, because they've got milled edges and they grip. You don't skid like all over wheels. the place. Yes. Mm. But uh, you yeah. have oh, a problem here. You're only yes. halfway around, and look, the queen has <laughs> gone upside down and so back she, the right well, way up that's, again. That's okay. one rotation. Well, the answer must be that she rotates twice, I guess. Let's see if it does happen. There we go. Oh, very careful to... Keep it from slipping all over the place. Here we are, and joining up, quite and right. she's rotated twice. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that incredible? How can that be? Well, it's not so amazing if you stop and think what happens when you rotate both coins together. Watch this. I'll turn them both together. Red marks aligned. Here we go. Rotating, rotating, rotating. Now both queens' heads are upside down, mm -hmm. and the red marks are as far apart as they possibly can be. Rotating, rotating, rotating. Red marks come back together. Each coin has rotated once. So the total amount of rotation is twice. So it's all quite clear now, isn't it? Yeah, have a look at that. If one stays still, the other one will have to go around twice. I want to know. Curiosity.